the Clap Innovation. Join me as I welcome Ms. Priscilla Kolawoli. And even when they tell you can recycle them, we have people who make clothing. 
from nylon. You have people who make jewelries from nylon. That is recycling. You have people who make shoes, shoes like your sneakers from plastic waste. So, oh yes, that's that, that's kind of done. So, if you look at these things, then you just look. He said, let's, let's find a solution to all of this uh, issue. So those two girls, as I was saying, then two young girls, 10 and 12, in, from Bali, and they told themselves, we cannot continue like this. So they started from their schools. They went to the school principal, and we are going to, this is what we have in mind. We do not want to waste anymore. We do not want people to use. They did this until they got to the level of the president, I mean, the governor of the state. And then, who knows, uh, the Secretary General of the United Nations. Have you heard of the United Nations before? Have you heard of the United Nations before? So the United Nations actually came up with the SDG goals. As the, they are called the UN for short. And the Secretary General is like the president of that organization. It's an international body covering almost all the countries in the world. So they go to the level where the Secretary General of the United Nations became aware of what they were doing. And yet, they started from where? Where did they start from? So if you just start from somewhere, you're going to be able to make progress. You just stay focused. It's not going to come easy. It's, not, it's really not going to come easy. But if you're able to stay at it, this is what you want to do. This is how I want to contribute my own quota to development. This is how I want to you know, we go about in our home. I don't want us to do this. I don't want us to, you know, some of you can even actually even think about, now when you live here, I want you to reset about buying gas. I said you could get gas from where? Your subway. Someone said shit. We can call it shit gas. Sorry for that one. So imagine if you didn't have to spend about 700 buying a kg of gas and you can just get it from the refuse that was produced in the home. Does it make sense? Does it make sense? I can't hear you, it doesn't make sense. So these are ways in which you can practice this circular economy. And as I said earlier, we're already practicing it. We don't just really know so much, but we're already practicing it. And um, at this point, I know I've been talking, and I want you to talk now. So I want someone, maybe while I was speaking, you got an idea. I want you to just tell me what idea came to your mind, and how do you think you can execute it? Be it waste, be it whatever it is. Maybe you even live in an environment where you, you see a lot of waste and maybe every day you always complain. All these people train are wasted. What do you think you can do about it? Anyone? Hello champion, CB2 Philip. Does anyone have an idea? What do you think you can do about waste? No matter how little the effort is. Okay, should I call people then? Agriculturists. Can you start start fertilizers? That's good. Let's clap for her. So, agricultural waste will generally decompose and we can use them as fertilizers, just as what happens most times. That done quite away, right? But do you know that that can be used to produce fuel? Did you know? Exactly. So this is, these are, it's an agricultural waste. Those are things that you can do with agricultural waste. Another thing we can do with agricultural waste is to produce fuel wood, which can be used for cooking. These are called, um, there's something we call briquettes. You can form briquettes. Briquettes are like logs, a log of wood. But they are made from agricultural waste. So instead of actually going into the farms, going into the bushes to cut down trees, which is causing deforestation, which is becoming a problem, we can actually take agricultural waste. For example, shavings from wood. You go to the sawmill and you take all of those um, sawdust, all of those wood shavings put them together to form bricks and um, logs for cooking. That is an agricultural waste. You can also, as she also mentioned, you can use agricultural waste for fertilizer. 
So you put all of these things together. Um, the peel of yam at home, you don't dispose it. You put it together. The fruits um, that are they compose, maybe you bought oranges and somehow one of them, one or two, got bad. Instead of throwing away the orange, keep it. All of these things through some certain process, you can use them as fertilizer. Now you have a vegetable garden at the back of the house. You don't need to go and buy fertilizers. Those waste from the kitchen. So the fruit waste, the yam peel, the banana peel, the, those things become fertilizers for the vegetable garden. So that is a very good one. That is a use for agricultural waste. Also, who has another? What do you think you can do with plastic bottles? I already mentioned that while we were talking. So who wants to, who wants to say something? Something you would like to do with plastic bottles? Or you want to learn? I mentioned that you could use plastic bottles to make clothes. I mentioned that you could use them to make shoes. You could do almost anything. Mats, floor mats. Also, you can use tires to make um, well, no, no, aside shoes, you can use them to make floor finishes. You know what we call this interlocking bricks? You can use old tires to make that as well. So these are things that people are doing everywhere and you know, they're making very good use of waste. Because we already have too much waste. Before we start to reduce our waste, we already have too much in circulation. So we can find things to do with it. So these are things that even young people are doing them. And you are champions, right? You can do just about anything, but you need to conceive it in your mind first. You think about it. What do I want to do? What, how can I help my school? How can I put my school on the limelight? How can I do this? How can I do that? Should there be a way to challenge in balance today? Would I have any idea to present? Do we agree that waste is a problem in the balance? Yes. So what if the government says, I'm oh, a of this way? We need to do something. We need secondary school students to think, come up with very good ideas. What do you think we can do about waste? So this is something I want you, as you're leaving here today, I will still want you to think about it. Tell yourself, waste must not remain around me. I don't want to waste. I myself am not a waste. God hasn't created anything to be a waste. So I'm not going to propagate waste. I'm not going to keep creating waste. I'm not going to keep bringing out waste. But maybe she just give something a try. And I hope in the next 10, 20 years, when I hear about you, when I hear of you, you'll be able to say, yes, I'm walking towards becoming a significant person. Please give yourself a round of applause. Okay, use your mind, use your mind. So, bottles can be used to make toys for kids. Okay. And if you like, cut it into different Okay. Different. I need to make toy cars. We have, this we have like, um, we have like 100 bottles available for practicals. So we are ready to do a lot of practicals alone. But in as much as we're also watching the time and managing the time we have. So you your own point is coming from the angle of bottles, right? Sorry. Like is that? Okay, the amount of oh sorry, my professor. Alright. Please let's start for him. Let's start for him. Okay, continue. Um, so I also watched a video an engineer who made a house to go to. Yes, yes, yes. Mm, like, if Nigerians can, the house was very big, yeah. actually made sense. And we can use bottles, that same bottle, we can use it to like design the living room and stuff. Okay, that same bottle we can use to design our living room, if only if we are going to adopt that kind of nation. Please clap for him. <laughs> clap for him. Well, maybe brief your name then what was the action point and your plan on the circular economy? My name is Deborah. Okay. My action point is Lino. Okay. Like when she said about the use that okay. instead of disposing the liners, we can take them to market to buy them and collecting instead of collecting from people like that are selling the guys. Use the mic. Okay. Yeah, I love I love I love your flow. I'm enjoying you. 
Yeah, okay. Instead of collecting nylon from market to man in the supermarket, we can take our own nylon bags. And tell them not to give you nylon. Don't worry, madam. Don't cause nuisance with those nylon for me. Okay, but Kali, how many of us? I know some of you don't go to the market personally. You follow mommy. But how many of you plan telling mommy that mommy stop collecting all this nylon? It's going to cause waste in our at home. It's going to cause waste for us in the kitchen. Eh? How many of us are planning to start doing that now? Let me see your hands up. So I'm throwing a challenge now. There are two challenges I'm throwing. One is an assignment which you are going to carry in your school. Then two, the first man assignment which you're also going to carry on. And these assignments are going to be rewarded. So and awarded in cash and price. So uh, thank you very much. Okay, okay. I think I have to return to this year. My agriculturist has spoken, my politician is here. Okay, I'm a teacher. Let's hear from you. So, in the circular economy aspect, waste recycling and all, what is your main action point? What do you see? What do you feel you love? What, 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 what do you feel you love? Like, ah, this is what I want to embark on after this um, boot camp. This is what I want to do after this boot camp. This section, okay, what, what did you gain in the last section? Let me ask you that. I gained that. Like, what is your own interest in this summer school? Um, use of lino bags. Um, okay. She talked about using lino bags. You might use that or not? She talked about using lino bags to make it alone. Okay. So, for example, these people are using the So, you can use the lino bags to use other materials to build it and not to sell to them. Please clap for me. Um, um, I, I really appreciate that aspect. I had an experience in 2020 when I traveled to Germany. You know, in Nigerian mentality, you believe every time you are buying something of five naira, they must give you a set of feedback to yes. So what we are going for shopping, I just thought that my mates were having their carrier bags or having a backpack. I was like, so when we go to the shopping store like that, I was excited to put all that I bought inside the carrier. So I'm like, ah no. After paying, they just shifted it to me. So the guy has a new man. You are yourself, man. <laughs> <laughs> inside your life, inside your pocket. They told you to pack your stuff yourself. After paying, they just shifted it to me. You know, in Nigerian mentality, I will go to a boutique to buy years. They have to put it in their customized bag. Now that's the day, maybe I visit you now. We are we went for a conference. So somebody gave me a bottle of water. I took it to my hostel. She had, she had to call me on phone. Dr. Lava, please, can you return my bottle as a bottle killer back? I know, I know, if I should take like 10 of it to the store, I will be given to point something you like that, and that can buy something else. So she said, she said ah, everything is by exactly here. That the water you are drinking came from the side. I said, you don't mean it. So I just see that. So when Jay can get there, if you can inculcate that habit, that sometimes you see people fighting. And every single one of them, every single one of them, they will just be. Exactly. I'm inviting you to change. Exactly. Like that. Thank you. Yeah. And when you are keeping it, there are ways you can store it. Okay. I did the celebration earlier this year, and uh, when they finished, there were a lot of, uh, they consumed a lot of hot water, a lot of beverages. And when the people said they were feeling, I said, please, for Christ's sake, I must not see any of those bottles thrown away. Let me keep those bottles. Let me keep everything. My wife, my young side there, she knows me. Keep all of those bottles. She will not like, sir. What are you keeping these bottles for? A, a, a time is coming that these things are things that you can, you can even earn some certain amount of money from. Currently, there are places you can sell it. If you have a large stock of it, there are places you can sell it to. So, if you've been seeing others 
waste stock around. And, and another thing is, the way we dispose of waste, try as much as possible, uh, uh, try as much as possible to separate. Maybe paper, you can separate your paper from your plastic and just ensure everything is done in a neatly manner. And we can do the, 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 the whole story is we also have to reduce and avoid the use of all these waste products. You can, uh, you can avoid creating waste in the environment. So I'm going to take the last speaker before we have our break. For different types of waste, like paper and plastic, because plastic can be used for one thing and paper. But if everything are together, we in Nigeria as well, at least to start. <laughs> Okay, please.